So uh, you can see some of the co communities potentially impacted by this, like Pike Fort, South Point along I-10, Greens Ditch, as well as Little Woods, right along I-10. This is where some of the really strongest rotation is going to be. I I think really jolting along just kind of parallel to I-10 as we look at Housie Beach, 8 o'clock, Pike Fork, 8 o'clock, Eden Isle moving 50 miles per hour. So 801 expected for Eden Isle. Oak Harbor, uh, maybe around the same time, 801, Delwood, 803. Heavy rain also associated with this. So really going to bring uh, potentially very low visibility out ahead of this rotation as it is a confirmed tornado on the ground. You can see on the right side of your screen views from downtown New Orleans. It looks like conditions still pretty violent there, even though the bulk of the rotation moved just slightly east of the Superdome there in downtown. But uh, luckily that didn't roll over downtown New Orleans, but still we have to think about a big city, very highly populated area. So regardless, even the suburbs, outskirting areas, a lot of people are going to be impacted by this. And it's really going to be telling come tomorrow morning when areas are going to be waking up to that sunshine and really have to see the damage with this. I think the National Weather Service is going to be busy into your Wednesday. Again, I would like to mention any of these cells that form over the next several hours. Obviously, as we head later and later into the night, it potentially could be more dangerous for some people. That's as a lot of people are going to bed. Luckily, still fairly early in the evening for a lot of these areas as we are only approaching the 8 p.m. hour. A lot of people still up, maybe just finishing dinner. Uh, so hopefully most of these people in these areas able to get the alerts as they are coming out. But as we head past 10, 11 o'clock, as people start to go to sleep, the threat is still there. And that really is going to provide a, a risky situation into the overnight hours as we still could see uh, some of those cells develop. Uh, we are still seeing a little bit of rotation. It looks like it's broadening out, Cody. It's very broad. So uh, broadening out, I like to see this on radar. You still see a contrast of the green as well as the red, but it's completely disorganized. I like to see that where we start to see them tighten up. That indicates some of that stronger rotation. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.